Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Trover Saves the Universe. So even though listen, I'm helping him a lot. Heard a lot of stuff about me from Gale, and uh, all the stuff Gale said I did. It's true. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I, I'm a different person now than I was, you know? I did used to be cherished. And yeah, I used to pee in the sink. And yes, I, I fucked a shrinkle and a dinkle. But I'm changed. What I are those? Changed since I've been with you and kind of we've been going on doing all this stuff together, I feel different towards cherorpians. You know, I, you're just like me. We're on another level of friendship now. I drink a beer with you at my favorite drinking hole, the Empty Peepers. That's the place in my home world that I love to go to. You keep they mentioning that place. Can we go there at some point? Right into your eye holes. But I'm sure we'd figure out a way for you to enjoy a drink there too. I'd tell them you're my pal, my Cherorpian pal, and I'd defend your back because I know they'd all be really cherished towards you because most of my planet is cherished. But anyways, you're my best friend now. Let's go finish up this shit. We're going to be done with this and then you and me are going to be an Empty Peepers. Oh sweet, we actually had to go there, hopefully. Oh, look who's back. Whoa, what did he do? Oh, oh he's still he high. Seems wasted. Oh man, you know, I've been dying to tell you guys. You know, you know why Glorcon's doing all this, right? It's because of his true love. He's been trying to create the perfect recipe of planet combinations to bring about the existence of his dream girl, you know, his true love. What? Yes, hello, it's Cherorpian. Hello, Troll. Oh, hello. Please hurry, install the crystal creatures into the drunk abstainer's eyes. Uh, I'm not drunk. I'm just talking the truth. Uh, okay, okay it's back. Uh, you know, Glorcon. Uh, 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 Did I miss that one again? Hang on. Oh, come on. There we go. So now you're all in sync. That feels better. We are three. If only we could be four. Uh, all right. So, so, what, what, what do you want us to do? To, you know, to help you get to be four. What do you think, Dum Dum? You have to find two more of the crystal creatures and then somehow get them plugged into Glorcon's eye holes. That will unite the four of us, and we will once again be back normal and the, the whole thing, the reunited thing. That we, we talked, talked about, about earlier in the game. game. All right, okay, we're gonna head out. Good, head out. And as you walk back to the telepod, we'll just go ahead and let you know that you know we don't know what's going on. You know, our brains are all a amok. You know, it's all muddied. We can't really predict the future of anything right now because Glorcon's out there changing the present. You know, he's doing things, and we don't know what the hell those the rippling effects are. We don't even know what he's up to. We have no idea what he's doing, but all we know is it's, it, we know for sure he's, he's just trying to bring a, bring about the, the true love of his life. And, and you got to just get those special creatures. Uh, anyways, what do, you, what, do you, what do you guys want to talk about? We're all talking oh, you guys in one talk? unified voice. We're going to put a special oh, talking to each other. this, so it sounds like three voices, like a flange or... <laughs> A chorus effect or something so it actually sounds like three characters talking despite the fact that it's just me one just me the voice actor <laughs> talking it's just one voice but we put a special effect to make it sound like three characters talking at once you know what i'm done i'm, I'm done i've said enough who gives a shit about any of this? Hopefully you're already at the telepod and you've already closed the doors and you've left and we're just talking to ourselves. Yeah, we totally did that. Okay, you, you could have taken one voice and then just, you know, put two more, copied it on two more layers. Alright, Cherorpi and Trover, good work. I see you've uh, got the abstainers all linked up. That's good to hear. Now, you're going to have to get those last two crystals and... You're gonna want to go meet my buddy, one of my pals, a fella named George. He's got the George. next pair of special creatures stored in a secret place, secret planet. He'll probably hand them over to you with little effort on your part. He's a good dude, one of my best pals. And uh, hope you guys, uh, Cherorpian, you doing? You feeling pretty good? You doing okay? No, Trevor's being making oh, me upset. You're not feeling good, huh? Oh, cry me a river. You realize what's at stake here? You don't think I don't know what's going on? It's a whole catastrophe going on so suck it up and get and start you know quit putting yourself first and being such a crybaby all right trover cheer being good luck i mean you asked how oh, i so feel feeling a little weird right now because we just found out glorcon's motivation is just true love oh that makes you feel weird does it does that make you feel weird cheer uh yes i agree with trover it does huh well that's strange i mean i guess it is a noble 
and sort of relatable uh, motivation. He's just trying to find his true love. I mean, if anyone's ever been in love, they can certainly understand that. But, but it doesn't matter. He's trying to destroy the cosmos, and we need to get out there. So, so hurry up and get on to George. He's my pal. He's going to hook you up. George, go talk to him. Take the telepod there. Hurry up. Get a hustle on. Okay. You ready, Trevor? Any witty dialogue? Funny jokes? Nothing? Okay. Oh, off to weird earth. It's gonna be zero babies here, so it must be... Just, here you go, get out of my face. Oh, why can't I get that? Oh, hey! What's going on? I'm Hi. a bathtub guy. Oh, shit! Oh, I I'm so sorry! Hey, partner, I, I don't think this is George. Uh, the telepod might have misfired. Oh, yes, I'm George, but when I'm in the bathroom, people call me bathtub guy. You guys here to play a little uh -oh. midnight shuffle? I mean, listen, we do have big stuff to do, but... Uh, I can grab uh, that TV. Well, uh, maybe? What's midnight shuffle? You know midnight shuffle. It's when two consensual adults tuck in their chub, hop in a tub, and sit knee to knee. Yeah, no, I... No, why would we oh, want to Trevor, you want to get in there? it feels good. Look, I gotta be at a birthday party in about an hour, but if we hurry, I'm sure we can get it done. All right, look, hey, listen, we're not here for some midnight shuffle, okay? Our boss sent us here to pick up some crystal babies. Oh, shit. Well, why did you say so? What is so? he air drying? No, boss, that SOB owes me hair. 13 space dollars and 15 space hairs. <laughs> he came over one time for a little cream dream action. That's when two dudes turn up the AC really high, then sit in the bathtub full of cream corn and scream their ever-loving ass off. Ooh, way is fun. <laughs> anyway, 12 days go by, and we finally get out of the tub, right? I mean, look at our bodies. We're all pruned. Oh, you're in the tub My for 12 days. My so tiny, I wanted to touch him. And just as he's about to leave, I go... Hey man, that'll be 13 space dinero. And he's like, 13 what? Then, all of a sudden, boss takes off running. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but boss is as agile as a greased baby going down a water slide. So, the only way I'm going to catch him is if I pull out my hookah kookie and give him a whirl of pearly. So, that's what I do. I mean, that in real estate, of course. I've been selling a lot of real estate in Manhattan lately, so that's been working out. But Does Manhattan exist? Going up the roof. <laughs> so it's hard to find clients who actually want to invest into a property. But I always try to tell them, invest early. Because if you don't, you'll be caught in a snowstorm later wishing you had. Oh, he's got you don't want to be ducks. stuck in an apartment. Don't disrespect me oh. by touching my duck. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Okay, 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 right. So what I was saying was... But my mother always says, bathtub guy, shut up about real estate. <laughs> but I just keep on talking about it because it's a great investment if you want to make something out of your life. I just realized the shower curtains, the middle fingers. Sundays. Trust me. Do I want to grab that? Sundays will make you feel closer to God. What? Trust that because ice cream is sweet. And you know what else is sweet? Church. Church is very sweet. I'm a Christian man, but I don't necessarily believe in Christianity. Isn't that crazy? Very. <laughs> you know, my mother certainly says it is, but I don't let that stop me from getting out and preaching half of the word. Now, I'll grab a Bible, tear out half of it, and then live by that part of the Bible. Old Testament, New Testament, no clue. I just point to a page and I go. A lot of times that ends up being revelations. So I tell people, hey, if it's the end of the world, might as well get into real estate. <laughs> hey, listen, hey, sorry, Pat, bathtub guy, George, whatever. The world is at stake. Can you just hand over the crystal babies, please? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was being such a nuisance to my two uninvited guests. Look, I'm sorry. We're not trying to be an asshole. Oh, you don't need to try. It just comes natural to you. Okay, I'm sorry. Stuff your sorries in a sack. Well, I don't got them. They're on loan to Tech World. Oh, hey, shit. I know where Tech World is. Fucking Tech World, man. Great. Now, let's see if you know where the door is. That means leave, asshole. You two turd birds come barging into my place uninvited, telling me to be quiet when I'm just trying to sit here. 
naked and watch my shows. So go on, get the hell out of here. Nice show. Let me watch my shows, and if you don't leave after my shows are done, I might just make you take 22 pictures of me. Spread eagle, blowing bubbles with my farsies. You ever eat binky beans? What is this guy's problem? <laughs> hey, partner, listen, I know where Tech World is, so l let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Uh, before we go, though. Hey, Billy, come here. I want to show you I'm having trouble in school hey, time. Hey, either school put work. that back, or you get the oh, hell out of here, oh, or really, you get in this tub and mush our things together. And you oh, coming to my private test. place? My sick. <laughs> Holy shit! Partner, you just killed this guy! George, or whatever, bathtub guy, whatever his name is! How many innocent lives is this now? Four? Five? Are we even the good guys anymore? Trevor, I mean, everybody Christ, we cross. As soon as we see they can't know we to came kill here. someone, we do it. Pretty soon people are gonna just need saving from us. God damn. Now we can take his but ducks. You know what? Who cares? Whatever. Let's just go. Let's keep moving this this horse along. Can I take his ducks? Probably not. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Did you wipe down your fingerprints? Do you have fingerprints? You want to say something? Wow, partner, would you take a look at this cool tech world, this gear world? Oh. Man, this is going to be a fun one to explore. I can't wait to dive into it. It looks like they're trapped in some force fields inside of a weird mech machine. Oh, there they are. Let's go get them. Is this the whole level? Like, just this one area? Team's kind of small. These guys again? You stupid, dumb pieces of shit. We're gonna really take care of you and kill you guys this time. Yeah, this time we're gonna completely murder you. We're not gonna hold back any punches. Yeah, we're not holding back any punches you before? this time. Ha <laughs> ha. You're going down. We're not holding back a single punch this time. Fuck you. Man, fuck, <laughs> fuck you. Uh, get him. Fuck this shit. You guys are doing great. Oh, look who it is. It's fuck face and shit ass. Which You're one's me? Fuck this time. We're not fucking around. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna fucking murder you. Yeah, you tell him. I am telling him. What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna fight. I'm I'm preparing myself to fight. Why are you being so quiet? Fuck you. I'm not being quiet. <laughs> Suck my dick. I'm, I'm, that's it. I'm fucking murdering. I'm in murder mode. Glorcon commanded us to murder you. We are loyal to our DNA father. Everyone shut the fuck up. Oh, hang on. I almost got this guy. There we go. All right, well, if all you guys are arguing. All right, can I get this guy with me? Clones, bunch of idiots. Yeah. Uh, no idea how they keep popping up wherever we are. No time to soak in the landscape. We gotta get these these crystal uh, creatures and then figure out a way how to get okay. them into Glorcon's eyes. We'll figure it out. Whoa, whoa, these gears. Whoa, we're on the gears. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's farther down. Whoa, whoa, we're on the gears. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you're on the gears. All right, make the jump. I'm easier if I just oh, attach to him. Hi guys. I almost feel kind of bad for these guys. Do you? All right. How do we free them? Oh. Look what I see. A couple of the... A, holy shit! Did we do Partner, it? We gotta grab the crystal babies. They're, they're down over by the telepod. We gotta get them and... Let's get the hell out of here. Well, that was fast. Oops, sorry. Cannonball! That's right, he likes falling. Ooh, all right. Okay. Oh! Clark on! <laughs> Surprised? It's me. 
That's right. I you played right into my hands. You're a couple of fucking idiots. The bomb I planted in your oh, teleport was never intended to kill you or the abstainers. I wanted you to merge the abstainers. You want to know why? Because of this. With this device, I'm going to be able to merge a bunch of worlds using, that's right, the power of the abstainers. Now with the crystal babies plugged into my device, they're connected to the other three abstainers. Here we go. Sure. Get up. You gotta stop this. <laughs> it worked! And this is just the start. Oh. A small machine and just a handful of worlds. My next Trover's still out. The power of your dogs. Oh, it's Tech it's World, Flesh World. Worlds down to five massive ones, all in one fell swoop. Unfortunately, it's gonna kill the other three abstainers as well as your dogs in the process. Not my dogs. What a shame. Oh, what a shame. Too bad you're trapped here with no way out, no food, no water, no telepod. Oh, all shit, my telepod. To plan. Now that everything's all jumbled up, no one's gonna be able to help find you. Good luck, you shit fucks. All right, thank you. Oh, he's got a big booty. Chover, wake oh, up. God. Oh, jeez, partner. Now we're trapped with no place to go. We're basically like Tom Hanks and Castaway. You know, we're gonna have to live the rest of our lives here. You know what, though? Tom Hanks, he yeah, made it out. It. Eventually. Won. This is horrible. I mean, you know, we gotta focus on survival now. We got, we, we gotta just let everything. Forget about the dogs. Forget about you know trying to stop Glorcon. It's Tom Hanks style now from Castaway. Ever see that movie? I mean, you should check it out real quick, and then come back so we we're gonna have to deal with this. Yeah, let me I mean, just pause the game and go watch it. Food. We we should start trying to build shelter. Excuse me, we need some help here. Hey, hey, uh, what's, what's going on? Boss sent me out here and said it was some commotion going on, so I uh, came in my uh, Z telepod. Have you heard of one of those? Of course you haven't. It's my fucking telepod. It's the newest telepod. I just cleaned it outside, inside. I fucking love that telepod. Uh, it's just over there. The commotion you're talking about is just right around the corner. All right, cool. I'm going to solve this mystery. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm Pink Trover. There's going to be a whole spinoff of me on this game. I got a story, too. <laughs> I'm Pink. I'm awesome, and I'm gonna figure this shit out. Nobody's gonna fuck with me. I'm pink. <laughs> That's not JoJo, the is it? Fucking version of me. There's a lot of us. Has a fucking telepod. You heard him. It's right around the corner. Let's go. Hurry. It's our only way out of here. I don't want to be fucking trapped here for the rest of my life. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Pink Trover. Oh my God, that poor Pink Trover. What an idiot. What a dummy. Holy shit! But also, wow, this is a really nice, fancy telepod. I mean, no, it's like all our stats. We've been using this whole time. I mean, it's got different. It's different colors. Lethal huggers too. I think too. this is a T eight thousand model. Wow. What is that? Two dads in here. I mean, it looks pretty much the same, but I mean, there's all kinds of doodads in it. So got paper. Hello. Pink Trover. What, what did you find? Out? Oh, it's you two. I must have misdialed. Trover. Cherorpian. Things are looking very grim. Several wor worlds have been merged. Your dogs and the abstainers are going to be killed. I can't get a hold of the abstainers. Glorcon's blocked access to their inner sanctum. Telepod is blocked from going there too. Come to my office. Hurry. I I'll brief you there on what the next steps are, but this shit is all totally changed. Shit's all fucked up. It's unpredictable. Everything just took a giant left turn. I'll see you at my office. Okay. Important cosmic jobs. Right into Glorcon's hands. We're, we're we're, we're, we're fucking idiots. He's a, he, we thought he was so stupid. He's a fucking genius. He played us like a fiddle. And now he's got control of the abstainers. And, and he's, and he's, um, and he's got the crystal babies. We need those fucking crystal babies, you know? And, and he's got your dog still. We haven't really done anything. We haven't done much of anything. I mean, this might as well be the beginning of the video game. I mean, we might as well have started the video game, like, right here, narratively. Because that's basically where we're at. We're basically at the fucking be beginning, aside from all the fucking, you know, narrative story arc between you and me and, like, you know, our friendship and all that stuff. I mean, we may as well, this may as well be the boot up screen for the game right now. Because we're fucking back to square zero. This is fucked. Jesus Christ, what the fuck are we gonna do? That was just a prologue. Shit, I didn't see this coming. D did you see this coming? 
Yes or no? Come on. Nod your little fucking peanut head. <laughs> Did you see this shit? Oh, really? You, you, you saw this coming? Yeah, I, I, I find that very highly unlikely. You fucking lying little peanut head. Now let's get the fuck out of here and figure this shit out. Do I have a peanut head? What does my head look like? I got a very lanky body. Trover, Cherubian, hey boss. what took you so long to get back here? What were you, playing with your ding-dong? Yes or Maybe. no? Yes. Ah, uh, you were playing with your ding-dong. That's good. It's healthy, it's natural, it's hot, it's sexy, and it's gonna help prepare you with what I have to tell you right now. How, how's it gonna help? A bunch of worlds are all destroyed. You know, th th this device is being powered by the abstainers through the crystal babies. All right, boss, w w what do the abstainers say? I mean, w w what do the abstainers want us to do? We've lost all contact with the abstainers, Trover. The last thing they said to me was the Glorcon was planning to blow up a bunch of planets in the Tarvo galaxy, which is admittedly very, very far away and fairly inconsequential to us, but still, it's it's just a bunch of crazy bullshit. Wait a minute, so all, all he was gonna do was just merge a handful of worlds together? That's a big deal, Trover. This motherfucker merged a bunch of worlds together, and uh, uh, quite frankly, we don't know if he's gonna do it again. I think he probably will. Well, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are we gonna do? This guy's this guy played us. That's right, Trover, he played you. I, I've been busy playing cards. Now shut the fuck up. L listen to me, I have a plan. We still have the coordinates to Glorcon's home planet. That's where he's keeping his world merging device. That's where his secret base is. And that's where the crystal babies are. The only problem is the planet is being shielded by a giant, impenetrable force field. Oh yeah, All we, we saw it. All we have to do is shut down the force field. It's easy. Well, how do we do that? What, what the fuck? What, what, what are we supposed to do? Trover, we gotta blow up Mixed World. Mixed World is powering Gorkon's force field around his secret base planet. You, wanna, you want us to blow up a planet? A bunch of planets that are merged together? Are you fucking serious? You, you hear Trover, yourself? I don't want to hear any more of this out of you. Cherorpian, do you think you're up for this? No. Quit lying Sounds to me. scary. I know you're only trying to get out of this so you can go and play with your ding dong. Can read anyway, me like Lord a fiddle. Khan just destroyed a handful of worlds, merging them together, and he created one giant mixed world. That's a problem. He's also gonna kill your dogs. Cheer okay, Orpian, now I care. And the abstainers are gonna die too. I mean, is that enough stakes for us? I mean, you got all that, Trover? You following along here? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, we got it. Okay, on this mixed world, there's a bomb planting site. You're gonna need to plant a bomb in that receptacle. Where the fuck are we? Go Where's this bomb you're talking about? Where, where, where? I'm getting to that, Trover. God damn it! If you let what me. What is with this piano music? Conversation. In order to get the bomb, you're gonna need to go talk to my good friend, one of the funniest guys I know, comedy guy. He's my best friend, one of my best friends, and he also happens to be a bomb expert. And and he'll tell some hilarious jokes. He'll lift your spirits. His name is Comedy Guy. He has the bomb. So just whenever you're ready, go ahead and press the button on the telepod and it'll take you to Comedy Guy. And then I mean, if he's Comedy there, Guy, it seems like world. everyone Jesus should be Comedy Christ, Guy. Christ, what a hot mess. Partner, come on. Hit the button. Let's go to Comedy Guy and get this bomb. Maybe we'll hear some jokes. I, I don't know. This guy better be funny. Uh, oh, man. whoops. Man, this is a bunch of bullshit. I can't believe Glorcon played us like he did. And all this shit would have happened whether I had been with you or not. I, I, I could have been doing my own thing this whole time, you know? I mean, I stuck around with you for what? And, and now we gotta blow up a planet? I mean, Jesus Christ. That sounds like what bad guys do, blowing up planets. Uh, all right, look. Let's just check out Comedy Guy's routine, get the bomb, and then go blow up this entire planet. Sounds cool to me. You've seen his lighthearted comedy on Flean Shack. No, you know him from his silly family-friendly prop comedy masterpiece, Floppy Props. And he's been a regular on David Letterman for years. Let's give a Impressive. warm round of applause to Comedy Guy! <coughs> oh my god! What the fuck? He hung himself! You know, he, he always joked about it, but I just thought he was doing a bit. Holy shit. Jeez, do you know how fucking hard this has been for me? And, and now I have to deal with this? <laughs> what, what am I? The, the guy from 127 Hours? Did you see that movie? The guy got the shaft. Big rock fell on his arm. This is 127 Yeah, I know what you're talking hours, about. James Franco. Plus an extra hour. 128 hours of me getting screwed. Uh, should we clap? I mean, he made me laugh. We were supposed to pick up a bomb from this guy. Where is the bomb? Check his pants. Oh my god, you know, th this isn't my fight. I, di I didn't. St Holy shit, it's the bomb. There it is. There's the freaking bomb. Oh, it's on his Let back. Let's get it and get the hell out of here. 
Uh, how do we get it? The bomb's right there. Just pick it up. Just grab it. Oh, okay. This isn't my war. Is that just a propane Fuck tank? This. I just wanted to get high off of some power babies. And, and, and now this. I'm like Swan D over here. The, you know, the, the, the guy that was arrested for a little too much pep in his step? The guy did jack shit. He just skipped across the street. This is bullshit. His name was Swan Z. <laughs> I will admit. Comedy guy didn't make me laugh, but not in the good way. Fuck this shit. Drover, we're gonna do this, don't you worry about it. Look, partner, I, I don't know how to say this, but I can't do this anymore, okay? W once we blow up this planet, I'm 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 striking out. I'm getting the fuck out. I I'm not going to Glorkon Super Base. I I I I, lo I care about you and 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 I really I want you to succeed, and I think you will. But but you're doing it without me because he probably just ripped my fucking head off. Are you kidding? He, he you saw what he did. He played us. A and I'll help you, and we're gonna do this last thing together. And then it's bon voyage for me. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll watch this place blow up from space, and I'm gonna go to empty peepers, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hire a couple of hookers. Listen, I'm sorry, partner. Uh, are, are are you cool with this? Is this okay with you? You understand, right? No, Trover. We gotta do this together. Shit, partner. I guess part of me sort of expected you to say that, you know? I really care about you. I do, I swear. You're maybe the best friend I've ever had. I'm not tough like you. I, I have a health bar. You don't. <laughs> you know, I, I, I take injuries and, and, and you're sort of, you know, impenetrable and nobody even notices you. There's no enemies even attack you. I think you got this. You're gonna be all right. Yeah, I probably could have gone through the entire game myself, couldn't I have? All right, partner. One last level, you and me, for, for old time's sake, huh? All right, Trover. Oh my god, your world's one of the worlds that got mixed up? Now I feel really bad that I'm leaving you behind, partner, but I gotta do what's right for me, you know? I, I'm i pretty sure you'll get through this whole thing with or without me, you know? Who needs me, right? I, I, I was never important to this whole thing anyways. Trover, what about your world? About right now, what if Empty Peepers is here? About, uh, how much I like this world, it's all mixed up. That's not what you were really thinking about. I can tell. You're lying to me. No, I'm not. I'm telling the truth. I was thinking about how I like this mix. Oh, you gonna fucking die now. Who was that guy? Is he an armored up guy? talking oh the guy up there oh wait where'd they go I can pick up. Can't pick anything else up. What? All right, one more. For now, at least. 
Anyways, Joffrey, you ain't doing that good saying, on health. You know, there's Schlober, the trans uh, uh, <laughs> eyeball monster, voiced by an actual trans person. Oh my god. No, no, uh, no, no, no messing around there. There's other eyehole monsters. M remember the pink eyehole monster we saw when Glorcon merged all the worlds together? You know, there, there, there's Dover. He, he, he's, uh, he's green colored. He's an eyehole monster. The, guy, the guy's great. He's amazing. He's a karate expert, but guess what? Big twist. He's Irish. Also voiced by a an actual authentic Irish person. We're very proud of that. Um, Boss could also potentially partner you up with Rover, who's uh, a lot like me, but African American. And funny and witty and has all these great commentaries and a whole different perspective on you know, oh, he everything. Died. Really good character. Voiced by a white person, though. Just want to get a heads up there. <laughs> that one was whitewashed. I do apologize for that. But anyways, the point is, you're going to get partnered with a whole new eyehole monster, and you're the real important thing, not not me. Uh, you know, I'm not important. Trover, your I'm name's in the title. Wait, ho hold, hold on a second. All right, partner, you got this. You can figure this out. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not too good for this stuff. This is on you. All right, that's not it. All right, let's try this one. Okay, oh, what the fuck? What is this? I can't even pick it up. It's a bunch of bullshit. I've been trapped in there for a week. You guys are dead. I spent the entire time I was stuck in there thinking about movie idea. You guys are dead. You can't hurt me. Ooh, all right, done with that. Oh, okay. Can you not pick that one up? Oh, you could. Okay, man. Oh. All okay, carefully. Nope. Careful. Nailed it. You're doing it, partner. We're having some fun together on this last level that we're gonna be together on. Cause I'm I'm, I'm out of here after this. Can't sure make it you clear are. enough. Shit, partner. The thing we gotta plant the bomb into. It's across the lake. Fuck. There, there's gotta be some way over there. What is going on over there? Hey, Trover, you want to see what's going on with these two? What in the goddamn oh. hell? How did those people get over here? We gotta murder them. Clarkon will be very ashamed if, if we don't, if, if he finds out that these people are around these parts. We gotta murder them. Oh. Alright, gotta go back for this guy. Come on. Trevor, what's going on with these two? There's oh. definitely some other way to get over to that My bad. receptacle. <laughs> Not many jokes about that, huh? Sick of being in buttholes. I don't want to be in any more buttholes, you know? So can there's gotta be another way across the lake, I'm sure of it. Uh, you got maybe this. Not. Maybe there's some other Oh son of a bitch! Ah. All right. I hope this is uh, I hope this is the right way because we are in a butthole right now. All right. You know what? We're gonna make the best of this. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have a good time down here as we make our way forward. It's really dark. Or or I'm blind. I think I'm blind. I think I went blind. Or it's dark in here. Fucking guys. It's just dark in here. Relax. Marco. Marco. No, I say you say Polo. I'm gonna say Marco. No, I wanna say Marco. And you. Oh, look who it is. It's dummy and dummy. Oh, so now he sees me. Both of you. You're dead. Oh, bullshit. Okay. What the fuck is wrong with those guys? 
They couldn't see. They were trying to play Marco Polo. We're going to be splitting ways after this, so let's have a good time here for, for this last level that we're going to be together. Let's get some funny jokes in. What did the wrinkly old dick say to the massive plump butt cheeks? Oh. Spread up. No, this is empty peepers. Oh, no. No, no this can't be. No, empty peepers is on my home world. This means my world got mixed up, too. What the fuck? No. Well, it's not supposed to be here. Oh, my God. Empty peepers. My home world is gone. Oh my god, Angela, the waitress is dead. She was such a good waitress. She didn't even care if we didn't tip her. This is all Glorcon's fault. This is empty peepers. This is the fucking place. This is where I go. Everyone's dead. It's a, f a massacre. Oh my uh, god. I called it. It's Ralph. We used to make plastic explosives together. We, we, we didn't even know what we were doing. We would just get a bucket of gasoline and dump styrofoam into it and and we'd play with it. He's dead. Oh my god. Empty peepers. This isn't like Lover. Tobias, <laughs> my mute hairstylist. He's dead. That guy was the best. He, he cut my hair just the way I wanted. He charged me 25 bucks and that included the tip. And he never tried to start small talk because he saw dead bodies when he was a kid. And he hasn't been able to speak since. Now, now where the hell am I going to find another barber like that? He did a perfect Oh, that guy getting impaled up there? Time. All right, any more? What about this guy? My neighbor Candace, who had a big old grandpa dangly dick for a nose. <laughs> and in order to in order to eat, she had to tilt her head and to the side and, and just a little bit to get the dick out of her way. She was a good-looking girl too, but it was like, man, why don't why don't you just get that thing removed? You know, <laughs> nose jobs aren't that uncommon. Not that it matters anymore because she's dead now. Along with everybody from my home planet. Was your home planet just empty peepers? What about these people? This guy? No, okay, that's it. My optometrist, uh. Ginger! <laughs> she cleaned out my eye holes after they got infected from using dirty green power babies. Now what am I supposed oh, to just do? Up there. Get high off of old sterile power babies? Like some fucking loser? Anyone else? Not that green guy up top. Murphy's Bakery is gone. I love that place. It was naughty. It was a naughty little donut shop that made the most delectable danishes. It also doubled as an elderly trafficking ring. They'd snatch up your shriveled shriveled Nana and put her to work. Was it ethical? No. Did it make their basement smell like a used urinal cake? Yes. Was it all worth it for the danishes? Yes, it was. But it's gone now. It's all gone. Everyone's dead. dead. Oh, come on, why can I not? Rabbi Brodick! He's dead now, too! We, we, we peed in the water balloons and chucked him at old zoo animals! He said it felt good! I don't know if he meant sexually or what, but he sure enjoyed doing it, and he's dead now, too! Oh, my God! Oh, I'm reeling! I'm reeling! And what else, or is that it? <laughs> nope. Oh. Oh, whoa, oh my God! I can't wrap my head around this. The guy that packed my groceries, the one with the sideburns. What, what was his name? Patrice. He had the best sideburns, and he's dead now. It was like he ripped off Wilford Brimley's mustache and attached it to the side of it, the sides of his head. Everyone's gone. All right, is that everyone? Is there anyone else? I think that's all the bodies. I, I can't even handle this. I don't know why that guy just popped into my head. I, I, I never really was that close to him, but he's dead now. Phil. Oh. Uh, is there something else up there? Gladys is dead now, too. I mean, she was bound to die any minute, but still, she didn't deserve to be wiped off the planet like that. She deserved to die alone in her car like she was supposed to. We locked her in there. No air, no food, no water. Jesus Christ. Fuck. The fuck? Try to kill old Gladys? Oh my god, Doug! Doug, my sworn enemy! The scum of the earth! He unscrewed the Parmesan shaker so that when I used it, it went everywhere. Parmesan? Ruined my ravioli! My lobster ravioli! It was the special of that night! 
two, it was $25.99 and he ruined it. After that day, I swore in a stack of nudie mags that I'd get my revenge on Doug, and Glorchon took that away from me. Also, I can't prove this, but I think Doug was telling people that I've been soliciting oral sex to na naive tourists. Have you heard about that? It's totally uh, no. bullshit, just so you know. Now okay. all those tourists are dead. Everyone's dead, even Doug is dead. Oh my god, I, I, I'm, I'm upset. This is hurts. It hurts. Okay, we made it. Are you done mourning? Is everyone you know dead? Aaron, the bus nope. Wife at empty peepers. Or would she be the fuck? What, what, what are you doing here? Oh. What the hell are you guys still around? Get him. We gotta kill Fucking kill all these guys. <laughs> uh, that's it, motherfucker. Malice. Fucking murdering all these motherfuckers. Hey, what the fuck? This is for TC. Fuck them. No. This is for Malice. Don't let me die here. It's really embarrassing. I'm trying. Yellow health though. What's wrong with the audio? It keeps like cutting out. Or not cutting out, but like you're playing the same stuff. This one's for Schweiz! Ow. Oh shit. No, I want you all dead, you're fucking dead! No more Mr. Nice Guy! I'm all raged out, but I don't know. I actually still have the same amount of health points. And there's no special super abilities or anything. But I am really mad. We're gonna fucking we're gonna take care of business. We take took care, care of it. Okay, that, I think that's it. Let's go. All right, let's How blow this shit up. How many clones you think we? All right, we're here. We're here at the bomb location. What? Just place the bomb in the receptacle. Oh my god, I feel lightheaded right now. Oh Jesus Christ. Got it. Okay, good. You got the bomb in there. All right. Let's keep moving. Let's get the oh. fuck out of here. It's gonna blow up at some point. I, I, it's on some kind of self timer thing. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh. Jesus you don't know what the self timer is. I don't feel good right now. You don't understand what I'm going through. I mean, my world's here too, Trevor. No more frumpies now. You ever been there? You shop there much? It's a clothing store that has no hangers. Nothing's hung up. Just all thrown into piles on the ground. It's the best. You gotta check it out. What? You can't check it out. All the clothes <laughs> I owned, I got from frumpies. It's gone now. Fuck. You can't wear clothes. Handle this. Uh, which way do we come? Oh my God, I can't return yeah, that's that locked off. Oh, that guy. Now. The damn thing is just a picture. I don't even know why I bought it to begin with. I kept the receipt and everything. It was, it was ready to go. It was all boxed up. Now I'll never be able to return it. God damn it. Go. Still blocked up. Oh my god, I also never got to use that punch card for one of the free meals in Tony's Tantas. You know what I'm talking about? The chain uh, no. where, where men with I, the ideal bodies and low cut cat. Oh man, what? you really think that uh, that Chorpion and the uh, little purple eye hole monster are gonna make it way the fuck over here on the other side of this mixed world that Glorcon created? Man, I don't know. What do I look like? Uh, Houdini? Mr. Uh, Knower of all stuff. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. You should be sorry. Fucking bullshit. You pissed me off when you fucking put me on the on the block like that. Hey, man, don't talk about blocks. What do you mean, don't talk about blocks? I mean, that's disrespectful to all my friends. I had a lot of friends that are blocks. Are you talking about your fucking toy blocks? Yeah, I am. Well, listen, you shouldn't talk about talking like that. Because when you talk about talking like that, it's fucking disrespectful to everyone who talks. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Just take it easy. Everyone just take it easy. What do you mean everyone? There's just you and me. I mean you and me. Let's just take it easy. Oh man, I, I've been wanting to take it easy ever since we got positioned, potioned, stationed here. I mean, yeah, me too. I just want to take it easy, man. I just want to chill and hopefully we won't have to see any combat, you know? Yeah, man, I just want to chill out. Uh, Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. I'm pretending like I'm <laughs> sucking a big carrot. 
Like deep throat in a carrot. Man, I think I already cool. went yeah, through this dialogue. Not even a carrot here either, so I'm pretending to do it. Hey, get over here, you son of a bitch. Hey, what the fuck? Shit. I'm coming out of here, fucking ass. Fucking sons of bitches. You know what? Fuck it. Forget it. I'm sick of remembering. I was already here. What the fuck? Don't let him get in. I think. You please stop. Okay. Fucking guy, goddammit! Fucking son of a bitch! I'm gonna fucking kill him! Son of a fucking bitch! Look at the piece of shit! Bullshit! I'm pissed now! I'm fucking invested in this shit! I'm invested in this bullshit now! My fucking people are dead! Fucking pissed! Work on son of a fuck! Trevor's getting angry. Is that it? Nope. There we go. Fuck Glorcon! I'm going with you, partner! We're gonna blow this fucking planet up, and we're going to Glorcon's home base, and we're gonna fucking kill him! Now I just need to calm down. Just I just I just kinda processed a lot of stuff. Kinda just I just need a moment. Just to be quiet. Mourn the loss of my planet and all my all the all the eye hole monsters on it. Where are we going here? We going the right way? Or did we go the wrong way? So we're supposed to go that way? This way. Wait, no, we came that way. Where the fuck are we going? Over there? Yeah, there's the pod. Oh, was this a... I'm an idiot. <laughs> right here. You know, partner, I sort of fill you in on what I was thinking back there. When I found out that Glorcon wasn't going to destroy the whole cosmos, I, I was sort of thinking, you know, shit, this is, this is my ticket out of here, you know? I, I don't need to worry about this. And when I saw that my whole planet was also clumped up with this other world and destroyed and everyone I know and love is dead. I mean, that kind of really sort of turned the key for me. So not to state the obvious, I mean, we, we, we both just did all this together. I mean, you already know this. So you and me, partner, we're gonna fucking save your dogs. We're gonna avenge the death of my planet and all the people I knew. And I'm gonna fucking murder this Glorcon guy. You're gonna help me do it, partner. Let's have a moment of quiet, cause we're almost there. And I'm fucking pumped. Okay. Uh, here are your things. I don't think that's enough. No. Okay, off to the mix. Wait, we're at the mix world. What is this place? Oh, from space. Any That's right. Now, this place is gonna blow. Any second, huh? You ever play Tonky? That's where you you rip someone's head off. And you just kick it around, just kick it around like some- Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh fuck! Oh Jesus Christ! There it goes! Wow, that- that gave me a startle. This must have taken a long time to animate all this. <laughs> I mean, it's only like a few blocks. Oh. We did it! Hey you guys, good work. You blew up Mixed World. Took care of that business. Guarantee you, uh, Glorcon didn't see that coming. Anyways, how was Comedy Guy? I didn't uh, get to ask you about that. How great was he, right? Comedy Guy's the best. I can't tell you how much I cherish that man. He is a gift. He really is. He's a gift to all people. Wait, 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 what? You, you guys are acting weird when I talk about Comedy Guy. What's what's going on? Uh, nothing. He's he's great. He's 
Comedy guy really was the best. Is that so? Uh, Chair Orpian, what, what, what did you think of comedy guys? Trover telling the truth, was, it, was he pretty great? Uh, yeah, he was hilarious. Yeah, no, he is great. He is a lovable comedic character. I love him. Love him a lot. Anyways, anyways, I was able to triangulate the coordinates to, uh, it'll take you right to the inside of Glorcon's base. You guys have done good. You really worked hard. Chair Orpian, you impressed me. Wasn't quite sure what to make of you at the beginning, but you really, you got a bunch of upgrades and I'm really impressed and proud of you. And Trover, what, what do I say? You know, you, you're a good employee. You're a work for hire, but you really put 110% into the job. Uh, you got upgrades yourself. I'm proud of you. Good work. Uh, you know, on your guys' funerals or gravestones, I'm going to put some real encouraging words if you die, if you don't We're make it. Hit the button on the so don't worry let's, about let's that. Let's go to Florida Base and kick some ass. Some we got to talk. Yeah, listen to what he's saying. You guys are great. He did good work. You're good people. You're, uh, you're heroes. You're the heroes we need. You're the heroes we deserve. Um, you know, you're wonderful. <laughs> you know, you're great. I don't know. Just keep this going, huh? Like going forever. You guys just... I just want to make sure you got to... Listen, get out there. You look. You got to do tough. You got to be tough. You got to be strong. You got to get... You got to do it tough. Where, you got to hit it where it, where it counts. You got to knock this guy down where it counts, you know? You gotta do this thing. You gotta knock it where it goes. You gotta kick it where they kick the can and the it's locked. And by that I mean you gotta finish this job. You 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 can do this. You guys are good. You can do it. You can do this. You're tough. You're tough cookies. How long is this customers. gonna go on for? Are you still in the telepod listening to me? Uh I'm just gonna I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna go through a recipe. There's a great recipe oh. for delicious meringue pie. Oh. The secret. Not a lot of people know. Actually, never mind. I'm gonna talk about hard uh, what? Boil. How do you hard? Bo how do you do? <laughs> how do you soft boil an egg? How many minutes on the stove? People. A lot of people say four minutes. Well, that's not. It's too soft. You want a runny yolk? How about that perfect in between? Not too runny. Not too hard. That's a nice solid seven minutes, but you don't want to put the egg in before the pot is boiling. You want to get that pot up to a nice I'm taking notes boil. here. Once it's boiling, you put the egg in, and then you do seven minutes clean. Maybe six and a half, it depends. Are you up in a higher altitude? Then don't ask me. I don't know. Don't look at me about that stuff. I don't live in a high altitude. Anyways, oh, oh you read any good books lately? Jesus Christ, he is lit off his fucking ass. All right, partner, listen. I don't know why you sat through all that. Let's hit the button and let's go to Glorcon's base and let's kick some fucking ass. You know what I mean? We're going to rip his fucking head off. Okay. You're going to play a uh, talkie or whatever you said? Okay, well, since I don't know how long that's going to take and it's partner, almost been an hour, moving. shut up. Uh, I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to down below. Oh, my God, I do have a peanut head. Uh, thank you all for watching. Be sure to down below, leave a like, subscribe, share. Me and Trover, we'll see you in the finale. Goodbye.